I noticed in a lot of forums that the flaps on the SL series was giving issues due to wear and tear so I decided to change the actuators and avoid future problems. I saw one video that suggested if you loosen the adjustment bolts the job would be easier but in my case that ended up causing some issues that I will show you later on in this video. I highly recommend leaving the adjustment screws in place and only tighten them as you need it after you have added the new actuators. To take the flaps off, first disconnect the electric connectors, that way you don't accidentally pull on them and break them. Then you can unscrew the three bolts and pull the flap assembly off. On the back side there's two torque screws you have to unscrew and everything will come apart at that point. To put the new part in, I found it was easiest to first put this piece on. Then bring it on the other side and put it on top. And you have to make sure that the flap is in the roof closed position before the pieces touch. Once the pieces are together and everything's looking right, go ahead and put the torque screws back on. Then you can put the whole assembly onto the trunk lid and tighten the bolts. And at that point, if the flap feels too loose, you can go ahead and adjust a little bit to make sure that it's not just hanging there. In my case, I played with these adjustment screws too much to where I didn't remember where they were originally. And when I first tested to put the roof down after installing everything, it actually caused one of the bolts hinges to break. Because of this, the flaps couldn't get to the fully open position. So the roof got stuck halfway on the opening. If this happens, you can turn the car off, wait about seven seconds for the pressure in the pump to go away. And at that point, you can freely move the roof forward to the closed position. Be very careful which, where you put your fingers. It took me a while to figure out this was the issue. As I kept thinking, I just need to figure out where the sweet spot is for the adjustment bolts because I had moved them too much. Once I found out the problem, I contacted the dealer and sent them a picture to see if I can buy the bolt. They said that I would have to buy the entire cable assembly because the bolt isn't sold separately and that was going to be about $300. Since I didn't want to spend that much, I figured I'll find a workaround. At first, I thought if I make the hole at the end of this piece a little bit larger and use a slightly larger screw, it will push in and hold the piece together. But that by itself didn't work, especially since I had to turn and adjust the bolt. I came up with another idea of putting a washer that was just slightly larger than the area on the bottom. I got some metal epoxy from Harbor Freight and glued it together. I wasn't sure if this would work, but I figured it's worth a try. After letting it set for 24 hours, I went ahead and installed it and I still used a larger screw just to give it a little help by pushing against it. At this point, I already knew about how far the screws have to be. I had tested this so many times and I compared it to the other side to make sure that I'm in the ballpark for where it needs to sit. And once I installed everything together, I was able to just turn it a few times and get it to the right position and everything seemed to work from there. I uh, will post in the description if this fails at some point, but for now it seems to be working great. Just thought I'd share this information with everybody. Thank you so much for watching.